Hey folks, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be showing you how you can enable the legacy support and disable it on your HP notebook. So for most older HP notebooks that came with Windows 10 and Windows 8, you can actually enable legacy mode to use older hard drives on it or if you're dual booting many different operating systems and that also includes operating systems like Windows 7 and earlier, maybe even MS-DOS or Windows 95, then you might as well enable legacy support to use older operating systems. So for now, I'm just going to show you how to enter the BIOS. So from there, we can begin enabling the legacy support. So on my HP notebook, you have to press the F10 key to enable the BIOS, but this could vary depending on what computer you have. You can check your documentation about that. But for now, I'm just going to press the power button and immediately start pressing the F10 several times. And now it should come up with the BIOS setup over here, the setup utility. And here's how you should know if you're in UEFI mode or not. So if I press one of the random letter keys on my keyboard, like the C, for example, yep, it makes a beep noise and it's a high-pitched one. So if it has that kind of beep noise, then you're in UEFI, but it should be a different type of noise when you're in legacy mode, I suppose. So for now, if you just go to the, uh, press the, uh, right arrow two times, like one, two, two times. And now we have the boot options over here. So now we'll need to press the down arrow one, two, three, four, four, four times. So there we are. We're now selecting boot options. And now let's press enter to select it. And now we have opened up the boot options. So if you would like to enable legacy support, then you need to make sure that secure boot is disabled because as you can see on my computer, it's enabled. So you'll need to press the down arrow key one, two, three, four, five, six, six times, then press enter to select. Then press the up arrow, make sure we want to choose disabled, press enter to select it. And now if we press the up arrow once, we should see that legacy support is usually disabled by default. But of course, it gives you some information on the side. So it says when legacy support is enabled, the BIOS will use the compatibility, will load the compatibility support module, aka the CSM, so we can use older operating systems. However, if we have Windows 8 and newer, or Windows 8.1, to be honest, um, it really, it does work way perfectly than legacy, so if we use UEFI. But for now, I'm just going to press enter to select legacy support, then press down to make sure we want to choose enabled, press enter to select it. And now it should come up with this message on some motherboards saying that it may make the system unable to boot through your operating system. But unless you do have a legacy boot drive, like a legacy USB flash drive, DVD, or hard disk, then you can just press the left arrow to highlight the yes option, press enter to select it. Now, if you look closely, secure boot straight away is grayed out because secure boot is not an option. Uh, sorry, I just didn't really like uh, position my camera properly. So if you look closely, you can see that secure boot is grayed out and that means we cannot use secure boot because secure boot is not an actual thing during legacy mode. So now we can press F10, and now it should say exit saving changes. So press enter to make sure we want to choose yes. And now after a while, it should come up with this screen saying that a change to the operating system secure boot mode is pending. And it asks us to enter a passcode. So it's just asking about uh, secure boot, and also I think it's about legacy as well. So then it gives you a four-digit code, and after you enter it, you can press enter. In my case, the four-digit code is 5534, so I'm just going to type in 5534 and press enter. And I'll quickly just boot into the BIOS, because now I'm going to show you how to disable it. 
So again, you have to go to system configuration, then go to boot options, and then press the down arrow key one, two, three, four times, then press enter to select, up to disabled by pressing the up arrow, enter to select, press left, yes, to enter to select, yes, and now we want to press down, make sure we want to choose secure boot, press enter to select, then make sure that it is enabled and press enter to select that because secure boot is recommended to be enabled by default. Now I'm just going to save the changes, press enter and immediately just press escape after that. All right, and I guess that's how we can enable and disable legacy mode and switch between legacy and UEFI and also enable and disable secure mode on or secure boot mode on your HP notebook. Again, this may not be available for all HP notebooks, but yeah, I mean, like, it depends. But anyways, we'll conclude this video. Let me just turn off my machine. And that'll be it. So thank you for watching this very short video, or maybe it's going to be a long one. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for similar videos. Also, please make sure you share this video with your family and friends if you found something interesting or something a bit funny. And with that, I hope to see you in my next episode.